Welcome back to Fox 32 News at noon. You know, everybody agrees that very little is getting done in Washington because of all the political turmoil and nobody's happy and nothing seems to get done. Well, a growing number of people are now blaming gerrymandering for that problem. Fox political analyst Tom Serafin is here to talk about this. Good to see you, Tom. Nice to see you. And you have an interesting way of describing this because gerrymandering really is part of the problem. Right. It's every 10 years they redistrict the, their states, people, politicians, whoever wins the control the uh, the state legislature and the governor's office and in this case in Illinois it's the Democrats they cut the districts up the way they want them and in the last uh, carve up we lost one congressional seat because of population shifts but we got 18 and they went from 11 Republicans and eight Democrats to 12 Republicans and six 12 Democrats and six Republicans so I mean politicians joke now that they select the voters rather than the voters selecting them it's just like you're nuts here I have some nuts. Angel here we got to see this right. Right. This is great. This is really you know, it's coming the holiday season. You have mixed nuts. So some people like the cashews. So a lot of politicians will pick the cashews. Others will pick the walnuts. I like almonds. Do we have almonds? Yes, we have almonds good. in there. Okay, so it, it, that's how politicians do it today because of the, the opportunity of uh, these primaries. They know how you're voting in a primary. They know whether your tendency is a Republican or a Democrat, and they carve out the districts to showcase that individual so he gets elected. More Democrats, fewer Republicans, guaranteed you're going to get a Democrat elected. I was just talking to someone about this very issue because it seems like the people have never been more mad about a lack of ability to get things done in Washington, and yet this is part of the reason why there's so little you can do. If they have such a stronghold in their, their respective mm -hmm. regions that they represent, that there's nothing you can do, it feels like. Well, you know, Governor Quinn is talked about an open primary. Open primaries would allow people to go in and vote on either party, Republican or Democrat, so it would make it more difficult for people to figure out whether you're part of this party or that party. So difficult after 10 years to make sure you have this or that voter in that particular congressional district. You know, many years ago, 1980, Rahm Emanuel, Forrest Claypool, and myself and others worked for a young man named Dave Robinson, who ran for Congress in Springfield. We lost that race, but did very well in that district. We lost to the Republican, Paul Finley. Two years later, Dick Durbin runs in the same district uh, and didn't do as well in the old district. But he was cut in, they cut in Macon County, Decatur, more Democrat votes. He got elected to Congress and he's a U.S. Senator today. Interesting. It's, stuff. That's how it happens. You know, if you control the process. And remember, everything south of Chicago was red in the last general election for governor. Everything is red except Cook County. So they've done a heck of a job, the Democratic Party, in still shifting the power to the, to the blue, the Democrats in the state. It's interesting. Go online and look at your own district, and it's amazing to see where it encompasses and how many different areas. Right. If you take a look, Louis Gutierrez's district, it's like a, a, a you know, it's like a horseshoe curve, and it, they reach around all the African American and the poor white community in their city, goes all the way out to 294, comes across the north and the south, and it's uh, all Hispanics, and, and that's how he got elected. I mean, Bobby Rush goes all the way to the south suburbs, Robin Kelly, all the way down to Kankakee. Mm -hmm. uh, they cut a little bit of piece. Of, of the city, but they take a lot of the a lot of the turf, you know, out in the suburbs right now. And that just means that they basically have exactly they know exactly what their block is, and they represent that block alone. Right. Well, Mike Quigley, uh, if you know, is the congressman. He was the Cook County commissioner. He's from the fifth district, the, the the North Shore area. His district goes all the way out to Lagrange, to, to, to just the other part of uh, DuPage County uh, and uh, uh, Hinsdale in that area. They never see him out there. But his votes are in the city. Mm -hmm. But the colonization of Chicago Democrats to the suburbs is very much underway under this current congressional map that we have today. It's really a, a stunning achievement by the Democrats in the state. You know, a lot going on in Springfield, veto-proof majorities, they control and run everything. But this is a 10-year reign. Mm -hmm. It's going to change a lot of things. Stunning is right. And uh, thank you, Tom Sarah sure. for talking to us. As always, good to see you. Coming up next on Fox 32 News at noon, two of the senators at the middle of all the fighting in Washington, speaking of fighting in Washington, they meet today and they're hoping to make some peace. We'll tell you about that and some bad